The power of persistence is today's video. A lot of people, a lot of people, they just, they can't hang. They can't <laughs> hang. Let's just be honest. We see people give up all the time, to be honest. Yeah, we, 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 we see people give up all the time. You can't hang. And that's okay. It's, it's, it's very difficult. And I think it's not for everybody. But if you're listening to this and it's like, I can hang, I can do it, I can, I can persist, I can break through, this video's for you. And if you're not here yet, maybe come back in a year. <laughs> Might be for you. But the power of persistence. A lot of this is, this is, you see us now and we're, we're doing great things and we'll do, we're, doing, even, we're, do, we're kind of doing big things. We're doing big things and we're <laughs> planning to do bigger things in the future. Uh, we didn't get here today. We didn't end up oh, here Oh, it, it was painful. It was brutal. Be the first to tell you. It was absolutely bloody. Like sometimes we had every, ca every dollar we had on hand, we put it all into the business. Like not most of it, not 80%, 100%. All of it. Yeah, so, so a lot of times, I mean, business was like this and it was, sometimes it got kind of scary. You get the butterflies like, dude, are you sure we're making the right move? Like, let's go all in. So if you, if you, if you feel like you were in that position maybe right now, we've been there. Everybody that's, that's been successful, they've been there. I guarantee it. Guarantee. Everybody that you know, some of, some of your favorite gurus are out of capital right now, period. And they're always sourcing new capital. And they go, we go through it multiple times in our cycle. I, you've been in, he's, he's been an entrepreneur for 17 years now? 20-ish plus years. 20, 20 plus years. How many times have you hit bottom? 100. 100 times. I've hit bottoms probably like three to five times. <laughs> It, it hurts. Yeah, don't worry, it gets worse now. I'm just kidding. It, I, it think, I think I think you got lucky when you put that high mind thing together because now you're looking like a hockey stick. Yeah. yeah so yeah. you might not see too many of those anymore. But, but, you'll, but here's the thing: you only need one right. You, you only got to be right once. You only got to be right once. Yeah. You don't have to be right every time. And that, I think a lot of people. And this is the power of persistence. A lot of people they take L's. We get punched in the face. We took. We call it, me and Anthony call it getting punched in the face. Are you okay getting punched in the face? Once a week, once a month. I would once say, a year. yeah, for sure. You got to get used to getting beat up. Yeah. So think about this, right? If, if you're going to start a business, if you're going to do anything important, even a marriage, right? You got to wake up every day. You got to give, you got to compliment, you got to try, you got to, you got to wait. Every day is a brand new day. Things didn't go so well. Maybe you had a little spat. You got to try again the next day. You got to start again. So anything Absolutely. important, you're going to have to continuously pour time and energy into it until you're dead. Right? Yep. It's not like, hey, by the time we reach 50, we're not going to, you know what I mean? Like, you're just going to keep continuing to be to persistent. So in business especially, right, and especially in the land business, I think, man, I think we have a little bit more trouble, right, as a new person getting started because it's such a slow game, right? Yeah. Bigger bigger gains, long, open, longer windows. And people do give up, man. They crap out. They run out of capital. They run out of energy. They run out of confidence, get tired of beating up by their spouse, and then, they, boom, they disappear into the ethers. We never see them again, yep. right? But if you have that person that's willing to persevere, I'd much rather have somebody on the team that's been to prison, that's grew up super poor. I'd rather have somebody that's, had, that's known struggle and pain at a very, very high level because that kind of tells us that this person's going to be resilient. They're going to be able to push through to make it easy. If somebody's like, well, school, they're already a successful investor, now they want to transition to land, normally it doesn't happen. Yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of capped out because they've had it easy and they don't, they don't have what it takes to go to the next level or even strive to make it past that zero point. And I think everybody's like starting from zero is the hardest. Yeah. Starting from zero is the hardest. I drive manual, manual transmit. I drive manual trucks and I was telling Anthony <laughs> about this. The strongest car, the strongest gear in a motor is your first gear because you literally have to stop something that's sitting in place to get motion. And yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah. So like when I used to drive 80,000 80, pound trucks, if you didn't know, I used to be a truck driver. First gear, when I was heavy, I always had to start a first gear. When I was light, I was starting third or fourth gear. And if you're a truck driver, you know. <laughs> but when you're heavy, you have to start at first gear, second, third, fourth. You can't skip a gear. You can't do anything because you have to follow the steps to get to momentum to where your gears are, 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 they become easier and you go faster, but you have to, that first gear is the hardest, man. Especially feathering the clutch when you're on a hill, first gear, man, ooh. I remember <laughs> when, I first started, when I first learned how to drive, I, you, I fucking stalled out on a hill. I'm like, ah! I'm like, ain't never moving. I'm never moving. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's the first, starting from zero is the hardest, and if you started from zero, you know that's 100% a fact, but you gotta be persistent. Like yeah. A lot of people start from zero, you have to be persistent to get to wherever you want to be. Like it's, it's going to take effort. It's going to take a lot of pain. It's going to take tears. It's going to take strain on your relationships. It's going to strain on your relationship with your kids. It's going to do a lot of things you don't like and doesn't feel nice. 
Yep. And and also, not everybody wants to live like that or has to live like that. Yeah, right? you don't so have to live like that. Not you, saying you, you maybe somebody's happy just making an extra hundred bands a year and that makes them super super happy, right? Absolutely. In the land game, luckily we could make it like in a wholesale fee. Absolutely. But you know, if you if you if you do have lofty goals and you, you have a, a lot of ground to make up, maybe you're a little bit older and you lost a lot of time in your life and you say, hey, I need to make a significant amount of capital in a very short amount of time, then the land game is a pretty good way to make up for lost time. So that's something that we think about all the time. But if you are going to persevere and you are going to push through and you are going to overcome those mountains, you will be able to make several years worth of capital like in a single transaction, a single text message, a single phone call. And I think that's something that's really rewarding. But if you don't push through, if you don't have the resilience to push through, you're never going to be able to experience that. Yeah. And like I said, you got you got to you got to come back. You get knocked down, you got to stand back up. You got to and I said I hope it most motivates you. A lot of, I talked to a lot of people that have been through this. They've all been through this, a lot of them. So you're not alone. If you need somebody to talk to, there's, someone, there's always somebody here that's willing to help you through this. People that go through this, sometimes they go through bouts of depression and suicidal thoughts and because of the pain and bankruptcy and yeah. all these different things that happen. I was, like I said, we're at an event right now. One of the guys said he thought about bankruptcy. He's thought about filing bankruptcy, bankruptcy twice. Like, he went to talk to the bankruptcy attorney, and he's, Dang. Like, he's at that point to file bankruptcy, and he said, no, I'm not going to do that. It's not what I want to do. So there's a lot of things that you have to, hey, I'm going to get out of this, and I'm going to find a way. Being persistent, man. So I, I think that uh, if you don't have, if, if you want to build up your persistence muscle, my recommendation is for somebody to do physical exercise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether yeah. it's walking, you know, squats. CrossFit, jump rope, trampoline, anything where you move your body and you push yourself very, very hard. What my goal is not to have big muscles. My goal is for somebody to be panting. Like <sighs> you need to be completely out of breath. And if you get used to pushing your body to the that extreme, often once to three times per week, then it starts to build up that something inside of you that's like, hey. I'm not going to settle for what's ever happening. I'm going to push through to the next level. This and I is think painful, but I can get through it. You can, you can make yourself, you can practice the art of being persistent and persevering and pushing through difficult things through physical exercise. Now as a personality trait, when you run into a challenging you know, business struggle, you could say, oh, I've been here before. I feel stressed. I feel like this is going to be challenging, but I'm going to go ahead and push through like I do three times a week. And this is the reason why athletes and military people are really great entrepreneurs. Yeah. They, they pushed themselves to the limit, they felt the pain, and they know what it takes yep. to succeed. So if you find yourself struggling with, with persistence, start physical exercise immediately. Come to our Tuesday night call at 8 p.m. We'll keep you on your toes. We'll push you as hard as you can go. Yep. Hope you are inspired today. Hopefully, hopefully uh, you see the exit and you can see the future and create it in your life today. If you did not find this video boring, please like and subscribe and make sure you follow around the Hive Mind, Hive Mind CRM. We're going to take you some amazing things. We'll make your guru feel real bad and cry about him. So.